Hi friends, welcome to our channel V2 Bros 3.1. So if you are new to our channel, please subscribe and turn on bell notifications so that you never miss another video. Today we are going to be talking about the story of silk. So please do watch the video till the end. The story of silk. One breezy afternoon around 3000 BCE, Empress Liezu sat down for a cup of tea in her garden. Under the shade of a mulberry tree, she lifted the cup to drink when blink a small object dropped into her drink. The empress lowered her cup in surprise. A moth's cocoon, hard, oblong, and pasty white in color, had fallen from the swaying mulberry branches overhead. She took the blob from her tea, and she noticed it was curiously soft. The cocoon was not encased in a hard shell, but in a sort of fiber. Pulling on a loose strand, Liezu unraveled it. Surprised, she gathered more cocoons from the tree to unravel and worked the strands into cloth. When she finished, she had woven a soft and a shimmery fabric that was cool to the touch. Excited by her discovery, the empress did not stop there. She studied the worms that produced the cocoons and noticed that they ate nothing but mulberry leaves. Liezu persuaded the yellow emperor to procure a groove of mulberry leaves so that she could domesticate these silkworms. She invented a reel to spin the cocoon fibers into thread and a loom to weave into cloth. Then she passed on what she had learned and the ter sericulture tradition was born. In the first thousand years of its discovery, silk was produced exclusively for the emperor and his close relations or as gifts to dignitaries. The Chinese kept it a secret. The Chinese princess dispatched to marry a tribal prince. She stuffed silkworm eggs inside her head. The tribals kept it a secret too. At last, in 550 CE, two monks working for Justinian the Great made it home with the precious eggs hidden in their staffs, and the long-sought knowledge finally arrived in Byzantium. Before then, Romans used to believe that silk was harvested by removing the down from the leaves with the help of water. However, the ideals of the Orient that lie within silk have never faded. Silk is timeless. After 5,000 years, silk has woven itself through China's dynasties. Yeah. It is known as Resham in Eastern and North India and Pattu in Southern parts of India. Recent archaeological discoveries in Harappa suggest that sericulture employing wild silk threads from native silkworm species existed in South Asia during the time of the Indus Valley Civilization. People of the Indus Civilization either harvested silkworm cocoons or traded with the people who did. And they knew a considerable amount about silk. India is the second largest producer of silk in the world after China. About 97% of the raw mulberry silk comes from six Indian states, namely Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Jammu and Kashmir, Tamil Nadu, Bihar and West Bengal. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.